So the next person uh, that I'll call is uh, Solomon Kuria. Solomon. <laughs> Solomon will talk on behalf of the youth. He is a youth leader from Mount Kenya region and also a member of the Jubilee, uh, uh, Jubilee Youth League. And Solomon is from Nyandawa County. Solomon, please. Thank you so much. Uh, I think I like the signature of Baba. Haya. Simuna Ijua. I like that signature. Iwo ina musha mtu watakama umelala. Uh, Your Excellency, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, Mount Kenya Foundation, Chairman Peter Monga and Vice Chair SK Macharia, our governors and distinguished members of Mount Kenya region. Good afternoon. My name is Solomon Kuria, a youth leader from Mount Kenya, born and bled from the lad of milk and honey, Nyandaro County. And before I continue, I would like to acknowledge in Gekoyo we say, Modo Atoga Karyakariadana. So if you don't acknowledge your age mates, you're going to have it after that. So all the young people, all the young leaders in the house, kindly be upstanding. Kindly. We have so many of them, as you can see. So many of them, Asanteni Sana, to get. And because I can see the vice chair is standing right next to me here, Sababu Nataka Kunisukuma Niende Araka, right on, I would like to tell you to begin by saying that just like Kenya it is, 75% of the population is young. That is not an exception in Mount Kenya. So we are that many, and therefore our problems are also many. But let me just by, start by acknowledging that we know, Baba, when you are, when you are saying you are not Tosha in Mount Kenya, Ama Hawezi, you still came here to our region and picked our sons and daughters and made them something. We know Shebesh, when she was young, you sent her to parliament. We know Moora, you sent him to parliament, even when we said no to you. So the things we are going to say here, we know now, you'll put some, uh, them somewhere in your heart so that you acknowledge and fulfill them. One, the biggest elephant in the room is unemployment amongst young people, my peers. So we'd like you to tell us your plan to handle that. And even as you handle it, I would like to guide you a little bit on what is the biggest elephant in the room. Employment in this country has not been proportional. Look at the police force, look at the army, look at the allocation of slots in government departments. It is sometimes given per constituency. We would like you to look at that with regard to population. Because sometimes our numbers betray us. I would like you to also consider this. We say the biggest pressure you can give to your children in Mount Kenya is education because hakuna mashamba ilisha. But now we are worried because help allocation has been reduced. If you look at the amount allocated today and the amount that was being allocated before, the numbers are low. Not forgetting that the bill in parliament that was supposed to even reduce the interest failed at the committee uh, level. So kindly address that. We need help increased. And by the way, it can be made a grant where sometimes you have seen people stealing money that can fund a whole education ministry in this country. So make it a grant. Give it to people and have many uh, joining in. Number three, AGPO. 
another elephant in the room. We need an overhaul in that. We are seeing young people being allocated contracts at the national and the county level. It's okay to allocate me a contract, yes? But are you aware that I have a problem with financing? So you'd like ACPO to be attached with LPO financing and set aside a kitty for that. And we have actually discussed and agreed out of the kitty we'll set for the whole country, we need 10 billion for LPO financing on government contracts to young people. <laughs> Tax relief. You know, some of these things we were talking about them in the BBI, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to even mention BBI, but tax relief to businesses owned by young people. Yes. So, we would like young people who own businesses to be given tax reliefs at least four, five, six, or seven years until they are able to stand. I read the story of SK Masharia and I've heard it from him. He traveled from here to America, I think, within eight months. So now, help us make it easier. We don't need to travel all that or do other bigger things. You only need to give us tax relief. Kuna kitu ingine moja hapa. Digital economy. I don't understand why today free Wi-Fi is not everywhere in the corner of this country. We should have ICT hubs in every village or in every ward and Wi-Fi free. Money is in the digital uh, world today. Every, any presidential candidate or any president who will bring that, he will have covered uh, millions and millions of young people. Let me talk about CLB listing. And we have discussed this and said, why don't we have a limit on the amount, if you forfeit, you are listed. We have seen young people being listed for as low as 100 Kenya shillings. 100, 200. Why don't we have a capping for that? And we have agreed, by the way, to start a business for a young man, I will need at least 20, 30, or 50K. So if I have forfeited any amount above that, put me in that CRB. If I'm below that, my friend, I'm still struggling, I will pay it. So, CLB should be put at 50K for the forfeiters. Decentralization of government services. Your Excellency, President Uhuru Kenyatta gave us Huduma Centers for every county. We now need Huduma Centers at the sub-county level so that our people travel shorter distances to get government services. This one, please kindly take note of it. Tax incentives to employers. There is no any graduate who should leave university or college and fail to get at least an attachment or paid internship. If we have a regime which organizes with the employers that if you employ graduates from these and these universities or these and these colleges, we are going to give you tax incentives. Someone like SK Macharia at Royal Media, if I go there, he's able to have as many, as many, you know, interns as possible because the government gives him a tax relief. Uh, that is very important so that we can able to absorb our learners. Two last points. One, very important, and I will say this when I'm very sorry, that every home in Mount Kenya is struggling with at least one or two drunkards. That's a fact. And we don't have to run away from that. We need to say, what is the permanent solution to alcoholism in Mount Kenya? It is the manufacturers of cheap and illicit brews. So let us cut the problem from the head. Let us stop going down to the drinkers, eh? to the, uh, to the uh, alcoholists. Let us deal with the manufacturers of the poison. 
Baba, lastly, I need you to mainstream, to mainstream you know, yeah, these young people with government opportunities. Let's say, at least since I've been an adult, I have not seen a young minister, fully fledged minister. And now, at least for a start, out of 20 ministers provided for in the constitution, give us only four, just four. And in those four, you'll be sure we are going to revolutionize because there's the language of the young people when they don't see their own, they don't see themselves. But when they see their own, they see themselves. It is a mirror of them. And therefore, you'll have more easy time when you have warriors in the field than when you have injured warriors in the field. And I'm not saying the elderly are injured, no. But a young, <laughs> a young person, Jamba, will be able to move faster. Eh? Asante. Raida, Nyasae, Omedidalo, Mangeni, Modoi Medikonyo, Pinyoa. Asante sana. <laughs> Solomon, that's in Greek. Can you translate? <laughs> Let's give Solomon a clap. You know, these are the leaders of today, not even tomorrow. And when you have a young man articulating, you know, issues like that and with suggestions, I think we respect it. Let's give them a clap again. Thank you very much, Solomon. Our fourth speaker.